Hey guys. guys, and welcome to another edition of our Lightworks version 14 tutorial series presented by WBAM Student Television. Today we will be showing you how to use keyframing, which is a location on a timeline which marks the beginning or the end of a transition. When you use this effect, you can show the ability to change parameter values for added effects smoothly within a video clip. Just like this. Alright, so first for keyframing, you put down what you want. So we're going to put down this clip right here. And then we're going to put the red marker, red line to where we want to keyframe. And then we are going to go to VFX, click this plus sign, and go to DVE, which I always do, and press double click 3D DVE. And then we're going to Activate the keyframe the keyframing by click, by clicking the plots to enable it. <laughs> Just to go. <laughs> then we're going to uh, so I'm just going to mess around in the beginning. So let's like move right around here. Then we're going to like then we're going to move this pie chart around to see where to move on the X side like this but you can mess around any uh, uh, mess around with it but I'm just going to do that and that's now you use the keyframe section which is at the bottom of the 3d DVE section and move the red marker where you want the uh, <coughs> where you want the keyframe to end so right here you can also, by the way, these buttons, you can add a keyframe or you can remove a keyframe with this button. But right now, you can move around with this thingy. Move around the, the Z rotation clock thing. And then you move around, you can move around to whichever you like, and then you can move it to another section right here at the end. And then now you can move it around just even more. And you can see how this red marker corresponds to that one right there. And now if you want to do a little more like additional touches, what you could do is you can go to the graph setting and then like you could move the uh you can move it back. You can move the red one back, and now what you can do is you can move that down. You can move it down. Okay, excuse me. And now you can try and move it down to whichever setting you like, and you can see what works best for you. And this is how you keyframe 3D movement. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use keyframing for titles. First, insert your clip into the timeline. Then, go to VFX. Click the plus sign. Go to DVE. Click on text. Double click on title. For text. Type whatever you want. I'm just going to type... Well, bam. And pretty much that's it. Now, when you're using keyframing, you need to make sure all the clocks are enabled. So just enable all the clocks that are under titles. So it'll always be on. Now, you can make sure always that the green dot is always on. So that means that the titles will actually appear on the screen. You can change the size, make it bigger. You can make it more transparent. I'll do all the way to non-transparent. Uh, you can change the font. Let's say we want um, impact. We can go to face, position, make it go side, down. We can also make the shadow bigger, 
smaller, up, down, darker or not. Um, we can change the color as well. Like, let's say we want it to be kind of reddish or blue. It doesn't matter what you want. Now you can move the cursor to add another keyframe. So now this time I'm going to make the size really small. So you can't even see it right now. Just move that down. Um, position. I'll just do it over there. And I'll move it up. Now you can move it again. And you can change again. Let's say we change the font to this. Cool looking font. Uh, size will do it completely big. Position will change it from here. Go down some. Um, let's say a shadow or the outline. I mean, you can change the color. Right, let's say we want the outline to be um, yellow, and the size we want it to be completely. But again, we have to enable it. Make sure the check marks always there. So now down here, as you can see, you can move the cursor. You can either A, click on wherever you want the cursor to move, or you can just drag it somewhere. Now these buttons will go to the previous keyframe or to the next keyframe, and you can add or delete keyframes. Now you can also go to the graph tab and change the color color let's say we want mm, I don't know pretty much any color you want it's okay we can go, go to color one add a color here let's say we want it to be want it to be um, maybe like teal that might be cool we can click over here change the color to uh, maybe some red actually what we're going to do is we're going to go right over here red so and then you can also use on the graphs tab to offset the y I mean the X, sorry, and offset the Y axis to whatever moves you want to, position, wherever you want, position on the Y axis, size to make it bigger or smaller, and then you also can notice that this red line corresponds with the red marker, so wherever you put it, you can add a keyframe or delete it. Okay, thank you for watching Kaido's Keyframing.